How's it going, people? Welcome back. Thought I'd do a little more of this uh, casual Christian crisis. Uh, publication here. They gave me an opportunity to break this off and I took it because this is a wordy document and I want to get it all out there for you. Back in the 50s and 60s, the casual spirited wanted to dress in fancy suits and ties and have formal pictures taken. Now, that spirit wants cowboy boots, faded jeans, and bill caps with logos like make America great again possibly. Hmm. casual mock modest spiritual clothing photos are now taken in all kinds of body positions some almost or even in reclining positions that's pretty casual. Men and boys follow the world in their grooming. <sighs> One time it's short, low maintenance hair and no sideburns and then it's long hair and long sideburns. The madness. And they haven't even got the sagging pants yet, but, you know, we're 50s and 60s. Got a ways to go. Their everyday clothes are very much like the world and are a very different type and cut than what they wear on Sunday. Casual people can hardly wait for a church service to be over so that they can change into casual clothes. Back in the 50s, casual women wanted short dresses, nice and prim. Today, they want short sleeves extra long skirts and fluffed up hair some of them maybe casual people want changes <coughs> this is the spirit of the age back in the 50s and 60s radio and TV were hot items And every person who wanted to be somebody needed one. Today, motion pictures, the World Wide Web, computers for play, and cell phones for prestige are all earmarks of casual people. Please, may we open your eyes? And it's not with a question mark, it's an exclamation point, so they didn't phrase it as a question. The particular items have changed, but the spirit of the world is the same today in the casual ones as it was back in the middle of the last century. Hmm. Casual means happening by chance. 
according to the mood or spirit of the ones involved. Peer pressure and fads have tremendous power upon the casual. More power than fathers or church leaders Casual people are off and on. They might go to a church and give a moving testimony, but then they waste time and money on trendy cars and pickups. Witnessing and Christian service seem to soothe their consciences when they hide violations to godly standards on photography or electronics, hoping the preachers won't bother them. <sighs> but, what does God say? Does he not have an opinion on such things as well as an accompanying standard? Search the scriptures. New Testament Christianity began at Pente uh, Pentecost. That's in Acts. The assumed sequel to Luke. And is very evident to us in the history of the 15 and 1600s. Christians of the Middle Ages, fathers, mothers, sons, and daughters were martyred for their return to New Testament Christianity. A true Christian may suffer for righteousness' sake, but he is under God's blessing and will endeavor to find a New Testament church whenever possible. We he will shun the lukewarmness. The true Christian is sincere, godly, and... zealous for the things of the Lord and the Church. He may be a babe needing further instruction in doctrine and in practice. But the true Christian is responsive to teaching and admonishment and searches the scriptures to discover the will of God. There may be needs in the life of the true Christian, but when they are addressed, he responds well. The sincere, ardent Christian can be baptized even when they are still there are still areas of uh, for growth. On the other hand, casual people do not measure up to the greatest commandment. Quotations coming. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, lacuni, soul, lacuni, strength, and lacuni, mind, and thy neighbor as thyself. I don't know, there could have been dramatic pauses, I assume, when they do dot, 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 that's a, a missing section, but skipped over part. And thy neighbor as thyself, end quote. Nor to other clear instructions from Jesus. Whosoever doth not, not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Said that somewhere. <sighs> yeah, they're not citing these. Uh, maybe it's in somewhere in the back. <sighs> Ah, 
lukewarm people serve themselves, their appetites, their wishes. And their own worldly ways. They do not fit with those of whom Jesus said, Ye are my friends, if ye do whatsoever I command you. And that's John 15, 14. I've had some friends like that. That's what I say to those people. Yeah, just, you want my love, unconditional love, just do what I command you. <sighs> Sounds good. Hmm. Or, back into a quote, Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abides in the vine. No more can ye, except ye abide in me. And it's John 15, 4. Jumping around, but we're at least in John 15. Just jump back a little ways, because they like to do this out of order. <laughs> Lukewarm people, whom are calling Christians, well, whom some are calling Christians, do not bear spiritual fruit. <laughs> because they do not have a spiritual relationship with the Lord Jesus, and because of faulty reasoning. Thinking this or that principle or commandment is not for us today. Yeah, so, about those shellfish, <laughs> about all that shrimp and pork, I love them. But some of you are probably in deep doo doo, according to this. They believe that spiritual obedience is just a cultural tradition or an old-fashioned way of doing things. Different way of putting the same thing? Sure. Their life does not reveal spiritual desires or spiritual fruits. They are not spiritually minded but are fleshy-minded. <coughs> See Romans 8, 5 and 6. Is there really such a thing as casual, half-hearted, and lukewarm Christianity? A casual Christian? No! No! And they're going to go to another section, and this is where I break off. So, We'll get back to this, but I want us to ruminate on what they've provided already. I want to hear your thoughts. Did you learn anything? Can I copy off your paper? <laughs> uh, more to come. Peace the fuck out. Wonderful. Whatever the fuck it is you're having. Eh, I think I'm done for now. <laughs>